What's going on YouTube? Just wanted to shoot this video because uh, I ordered a bunch more parts. This thing is full. And I hope that this is um, the rest of it so that we can get the swap done. It's kind of how it's coming along. But this is pretty much gonna be our part list too. And I just wanted to show you guys what parts we got to help finish up the build. Some of these I haven't even opened. Exhaust manifold bolts. Oh, I did get this thing from Amazon. It's a ICP billet. But it's going to run in line with the upper radiator hose uh, for the steam port to be uh, routed back into uh, the cooling system. I did order this for future builds. It's so that I can um, program the ECUs myself to delete the vats and make any uh, tuning and adjustments. Um, for the next build I'm gonna be doing, we're gonna need this. A lot of this stuff I got from Amazon. Our uh, transmission mount. The polyurethane one. And I got a bunch of these um, exhaust clamps. Just this uh, evil energy. I got four of these sets of two. Here's some more exhaust uh, components, flex sections. All of this is two and a half inch piping. Exhaust hangers. Just the rod and then the little bracket to bolt it. And I also got some um, LED lights for the headlights. Right. And I got these little ones for the interior. This, these um, brass pieces will go with uh, the steam port, a threaded uh, quarter inch side, and then uh, on the other side, so we can attach the hose, just a barbed end. These are pretty cool. I got these for the transmission lines. Um, they thread directly onto the transmission and then you just put a rubber hose on the other end. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these because I was able to route the factory lines. Let me show you. 
See that right here. And they actually came in and I used the factory bracket and everything to hold them. And what I'm gonna do, or what you do, is you just cut them right here, open it up, and then you can put your um, rubber line on there and clamp it right here, right here, and then you run it to your cooler. As you can see back there, they're on there. But I just kind of got these as a backup in case the fa I wasn't able to make the factory lines work. But these are pretty cool. Okay, so I actually decided to try this quantum fuel pump. It's supposed to flow like the Walbro 340, uh, but per their stats, uh, it outflows it. So we're gonna see, I'm sure it does, but the real question is gonna be is, um, you know, how long it lasts. But it's really similar, just this little, As the feed, the pickup in the bottom, and then just your connector. And it comes with all the hardware to make it all work. The screen, clamps, connector. I actually already got the fuel tank out so we're gonna be um, uh, swapping out that fuel pump and doing the whole fuel systems probably next. So, cool. This is the intake. I'm gonna run massive. And again, I believe I just got it on Amazon that I went with a, a black intake pipe instead of a chrome with all the red um, rubber couplers and the red filter kind of matched the truck color. So here's the other um, line to the transmission. There's just, uh, I'm not sure if they are different sizes, but there were different part numbers. But same style, just threaded on one end and then just so you can slide over a rubber hose on the other. I got one of each. <clears throat> I did get a filter kit for the transmission. Comes with a filter, gasket, and two shift solenoids. I just want to replace them. Make sure that transmission is going to be uh, shifting nice and smooth and runs well. So, next we have our fuel line fitting. I believe this was like the Dash 6 fuel line. Let me see what it is. 
And it came from Amazon, I believe, China. This is our boom transmission cooler. It's actually a, a heavy duty one made for like big trucks. There was a smaller one that um, I wanted to make sure and kind of went overkill on this. Not too much, but enough to make sure that the cooler is going to be, or the transmission, it's going to stay nice and cool. We're just going to be demanding a lot from it, and it is a little 4L60, so we want to make sure and keep it, you know, as cool as possible. Try to make it last as long as we can. Here's the actual size of it. And it does look like we'll be able to just uh, slide on a rubber line. So it's going to work perfect. It comes with the necessary uh, hardware so we can attach it. Um, maybe even attach a fan to it. I don't think we'll need to, but we can if we want to. Rubber hose. That's it. Actually, the only thing left is this big box over here. And this is all uh, exhaust piping. I'm not gonna open it. It's just two and a half inch piping. Uh, again, came from Amazon. Uh, just to be able to make the exhaust. I wanna, what I've been thinking, one of two things, cause I got mufflers as well, but I'm either gonna make a cutout right here on each side and have it come out the side or I'm just gonna have a dump underneath the pickup I'm not sure uh, you know what's gonna be the best option or what's gonna look the best what's gonna be the easiest to actually do but you know we just want to be able to get it done all right, so that about wraps it up. If you liked the video, you found a, a, you know, a good benefit from it, then like and subscribe. Uh, you know, if you've seen anything that you wanna use yourself, let me know and I can help you find the parts. Or if you're using something different, let me know and see if, um, you know, I'll look it up and see if I like it and see uh, you know, if we can't use it next time. We're gonna be doing uh, many more LS builds. This is just one of many to come. And um, really what I wanna bring to you in value is my experience. And um, you know, that way you can look through the different videos and see what best suits your situation. Cause every build is different. Um, you know, not everybody's gonna do just the, uh, you know, 5.3 engine. People may wanna do boost, people may wanna do nitrous, different power adds. But um, you know, at the end of the day, it's still in the LS swap. And, you know, that's what I hope to bring to you so that, you know, you can do your own as well. So thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe. Catch you on the next one.